team sheets are in for one last time in 2016 and we've got a huge show coming your way, including how one lucky Pies fan can get their hands on a pair of Swannies match-worn boots, signed just hours after announcing his retirement. As always, we'll get an insight on selection from Director of Football, Neil Baum, and we'll hear from the coach, Nathan Buckley, about the gains made in the back half of the season. Well, as we gear up for the final home and away game of the year, let's have a look at the side who will take on the Hawks at the MCG. There are four potential ins this week, and one of them, you may have guessed, is Travis Cloak. The big key forward returns for his 13th game of the year after kicking nine goals in his past two VFL games. Cloak is a direct replacement for Darcy Moore, who will miss Sunday's match with a hamstring complaint. Cloak is one of many experienced campaigners added to the squad, with Brent McCaffer, Tyson Goldsack and Jared Witts all given a chance to return. The trio joined Jared Blair, Jonathan Marsh, Levi Greenwood and Adam Oxley on the extended interchange bench. It could be a fairy tale return of sorts for McCaffer, who announced his retirement to the playing group on Monday morning. The final team will be named at 5 p.m. on Friday. Well, as we've done every Thursday, we caught up with Director of Football, Neil Baum, to get all the news from Match Committee. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Darcy's a bit sore, and um, so he won't play. But, um, but Trav coming in is a good opportunity for him. He's played pretty good footy the last couple of weeks in the VFL, and we've always been committed to picking the best sides for this second half of the season available. Um, and Trav's the next best available, so um, it's a really good opportunity for him. Disappointing to lose Darcy, but it'll be great to see how Trav goes. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a, a Sunday game, so we've picked a 25 so far. Yeah, so, no, Witsy's form's been outstanding, been been very good in the ruck. Um, and Goldie missed with a bit of a sore foot, but comes straight back in. So it's, um, you know, he's had a, an ordinary early part of the season, but he's in, looking in terrific form, so it's good to have him back in. And Caff, who's, um, who's announced his retirement later on, after the uh, the VFL's finished, it's, it's good to have him back in the 25 as well. As well. He's a really good influence around the place. Oh, no, the, the boys have really, um, oh, it's been a, a terrific week in its own way with uh, with Tubes and Caff um, at, at the last minute telling them that they're, they're going to give give the game away to celebrate that with them, both two uh, two outstanding young men. Um, it was a was a nice day to do that. And then with Swanee making his announcement as well, um, disappointing that he's not going to play on, but um, it was really good for the boys to be able to celebrate his, his career as well. So that kind of took all the edge off all that, and I think they're really keen, really keen to play well, particularly playing against the Hawthorne, who's always been a you know, fantastic team to play against, a really big challenge for us. So I, I think, um, I mean, as, as well as we can have approached something is, is the way we've, we've done it this week. They're really looking forward to it. So it's disappointing that it's the last game, um, but uh, I reckon we'll do pretty well. Big thanks to Barmy for his contribution to the show throughout the season. Now tonight we have got a very special treat for just one of you. The great Dane Swan retired earlier this week and before he departed the Holden Centre for the last time, he signed a pair of his match-worn footy boots and one of you can get your hands on them. So where are the boots? Well, we've been posting hints on social media all day. Now it's time to reveal the location and the first Pies fan to get there secures the boots. Over to you, Sam Gaston. Thanks, Sarah. Well, I'm here at Holly Ava Bar in Richmond. Why? Because it's 36 Swan Street. Now we're here today to give away a pair of Dane Swan signed boots. We've been dropping clues on Facebook and Twitter all day. And now's the time you can win them. 6.30, come down here to Holly Ava. The first person wearing black and white is going to take home Swanee's boots. So we'll see you soon. Thanks for that, Sam. Well, be quick. Get down to Holly Aver at number 36 Swan Street to secure your piece of Collingwood history. Now, it may seem hard to believe, but there is life after Swanee, and it starts against the Hawks on Sunday. Coach Nathan Buckley spoke to the media about the team's gains in the second half of the season, was even asked whether he would entertain the idea of Brent Harvey moving to Collingwood. Let's take a look at what he had to say. Uh, well, we're five and four from nine games, and as I said, we've played... You know, we've taken some good scalps and been competitive against others, but we're still not satisfied with that. Um, I think the real positives have been in the performances of you know, Brody Grundy. Um, you know, Rupert Wills coming in for a handful of games and doing really well. James Ace stepping up and showing us what he's capable of. You know, Brain Maynard's um, continual development. 
you know, Adam Trelaw is establishing himself there. I mean, they're you know, getting to have a look at uh, Tom Phillips, Ben Crocker again. So they're, that's been the most pleasing parts of it. But I think in and amongst all of that, uh, the strength of leadership of Pendles, Steele, Tay while he was there before going out, um, Brownie's playing his best footy for the year, so that, that really strong leadership has has been the glue that's pulled all of that together. So they're the things I'm most encouraged by. So boomers available? Uh, any interest? Um, yeah, you know, I suppose they're the list management decisions that we look at. We never say no to anything, but um, you know we're regenerating. We're we're looking for long term decisions. Even though you want to make every post a winner, you, you really we're sort of still looking to adding to a to a long term perspective on our ability to be successful for a period, not just for not just for a year. Well, can you believe it? The season is over when the final siren sounds at the G this Sunday. Thanks for joining us on Team Sheep every Thursday night. We've loved bringing you all the team news all season. Don't forget the top place VFL Magpies finals campaign is about to get underway. Collingwood Media will be bringing you all the action as it happens. But as for the AFL team sheep, we'll see you in 2017. Over to you, Swanee. My time's up, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm retiring. That's, that's the big announcement, so thanks for coming, and we'll see you later. <laughs>